So today I'm going to be doing a haul video for you guys. Uh, it's going to have some drugstore makeup and brushes, some Victoria's Secret stuff, some Bath and Body Works stuff, and some jewelry I picked up. Just some stuff I got over the weekend. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the first things I have to show you are from Bath and Body Works. And they're these little hand sanitizers. Um, I love these things. I've been really obsessed with hand sanitizer lately. I usually just use like the Dremex one or whatever. But these ones smell amazing. Um, I bought two of the Fresh Market Apple ones. Um, I got one in Japanese Cherry Blossom. Then I got one in Twilight Woods, which I'm a Twilight fanatic, so it smells good and the name sold me <laughs> around that one. And then I got one in Sweet Pea. And then I got this little thing that you can kind of like attach to your purse. And that way you don't lose it and you always know where it is. From the Bath and Body Works. Um, I, this is my all-time favorite scent from them. It's called Pearberry. Um, now, I don't like pears, so if you think it's too pear-y for you, it's totally not. I totally suggest that you guys go check this out. Um, they're having a big sale right now, and they brought back this um, scent. It's a discontinued one. It's only going to be there till like, July 7th. So even if you're just in there shopping for other stuff, check this scent out because it is just so, it's, it's so summery to me. Um, it's fresh. It's like it's got like a sweet scent to it, like a sweet fruity scent. Um, it's it's I love it. It's just my favorite. And then I, I got the body splash in that. And then this is my old one, but I picked up a backup of this too because they're only gonna have it for not very not very much longer. So I want to make sure that I have as much of it as I can get. <laughs> so all right. Then the next thing I got, I went to Victoria's Secret. Um, they actually start their semi-annual sale on Tuesday, so I didn't get a lot this weekend. I want to go back and look and see what kind of sales they're going to have. But I got this lotion. It's called Heavenly Flowers. And I've been eyeing this for a while, probably about three or four weeks now. Mm, it does smell like flowers, but it also has that scent of, like, the, uh, it smells like flowers, but it's like a, it's like a clean flower smell. <laughs> Mm, it smells really good. Um, so that's a really good summery scent as well. Um, and then uh, I got this. It's called Very Sexy Now, and it's a it's a lotion. It's a shimmering body lotion, and this mm, smells amazing. Um, one of my two of my favorite scents uh, that they used to have was Sweet Temptation and Romantic Wishes or Romantic Kisses. It's been a long time since I've had to buy it, so I can't remember. But they no longer have the scents, and I didn't know that. It's been a very long time since I've been in there, so when I went in there to actually look at, like, body stuff, I was really surprised that they didn't have it. So when I talked to the lady, I said, do you guys still have this? And she said, no, they just continue it. But if you like those scents, check this out. She was right. I absolutely love this. Um, it's got more of, like, a... It's not... Hmm. Uh, it's it's not quite it's not flowery it's not fruity it's more of like a it's got like a really good perfumey scent. Um, it reminds me of Sweet Temptation. If any of you guys have ever used that by Victoria's Secret, that's probably it's been gone for about a year now. Um, but knowing that I couldn't get that anymore, I definitely am gonna go. I'm gonna go back on Tuesday when they have that sale. I'm gonna get the body spray, possibly perfume for this. Um, maybe even another lotion because this stuff is amazing. Um, I probably won't use that for like an everyday scent. Maybe like when I'm going out or like for a special days when I just want to, you know, feel sexy or something. So, um, so yeah, those are the only two things I got from Victoria's Secret. And then starting with drugstore stuff, I bought the Jergens Natural Glow Daily Moisturizer. Um, I've been, and I got this one in Firming. Um, I've been tanning lately and it's not... I go probably four or five times a week, and it's not coming along as fast as I want it to. So I figure I get this to maybe help it along. Um, basically, just put this on every day as like your daily moisturizer. Make sure you rub it in evenly. Um, and they said, you know, it's going to start showing a gradual tan. And it smells good. I, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a, I have a huge thing for smell. If it doesn't smell good, I usually don't use it. Um, and it's firming, so it's going to help. <clears throat> reduce the appearance of cellulite, which what girl doesn't need that, you know? So there's that. And then I went <clears throat> and got some cosmetic stuff. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see these, but 
I went to my Kmart, and I will definitely be going back to my Kmart. I don't really don't like Kmart at all, but they have this awesome selection of um, off-brand makeup stuff, and then they have, a, you know, their regular drugstore makeup stuff. But this is um, Image S Image Image Essentials. There you go. It's a double-ended brush. It came in a three-pack for ten bucks. So you get a like a flat, a large flat sh um, shade brush. Then you get an angled like a she a uh, buffer brush. Then you get a foundation brush. On the other end, you get a concealer brush. And then you get like this. This I thought was a pencil brush, but it's like a it's like foam, like for smudging. And then you get a fluffy dome brush. I absolutely love these brushes. I've been using them every day since I bought them, like three days ago. Um, they work really well. Uh, I had never used a brush for foundation before, and I'm still not sure how I feel about using a brush for or this brush at least for foundation. But I do find when I put my concealer on with this end, I buff it out with the other end, and it gives it a really good, um, like more flawless look. So, and then I got Revlon Photo Ready in vanilla. Um, a while ago, I bought Revlon Color Stay. Not for me. It, well, at least not right now. Um, if you watch my f um, foundation routine, you'll know that it's just too heavy for me. Um, I'm hoping that it's just because it's summer and it's everything's too heavy for me right now. I'll try it again in the winter or in the fall. If I still don't like it, I'm gonna steer clear of it because I just it just felt like my face had caked on all this makeup. So I'd heard a lot of really good things about this. I've only used it once, and I'm going to continue to use it. So far, I really like it. Um, it reminds me of the tinted moisturizer I use right now, so it's really light. It doesn't make my face feel really, like, heavy and caked down with makeup. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. I used it with, I used my brush that I got to apply it. I didn't like the way that it applied, so I'm going to try it with my fingers like I used to do and see if I, you know, still like it as much. So I'm sure I will. <coughs> All right, and then sticking with Revlon. I went, and I'm very happy that I listened to my favorite gurus, because I went and got the Revlon, they're like the super long-lasting, lustrous lip glosses, I think, and I got them in these three colors. This one is, oh, I knew this one too, Pink Popper, I cannot even read the colors. I'll put this in the down bar because I don't remember what the color was. Um, and then this one is, I believe, Peach Petal, and then this one is Coral Reef. There are two, two other colors. I think there's either, it's either called Lilac Pastel or Lavender Pastel or something like that. It's a really um, pretty purpley color. It reminds me of the Lavender Whip Lipstick by MAC. Um, I didn't buy that yet because I was really nervous how it was going to apply on my lips. Um, purple lipstick just doesn't look good on me anyway. So, and then there's another one called Firecracker, which is a little bright for me, and it kind of scared me, so I didn't get it. But um, two of the gurus that I watched, Gina Binoina or Gina, yeah, Gina Wina Bina, Gina Bina Wina. Anyway, her name is Gina. Um, she loves these. She actually has the coral reef or the coral reef one. No, peach petal one. <laughs> and the firecracker one. And then another one of my um, gurus, Holly Anne she has these two and the lavender one. And so when I watched them, they said how well they applied, they loved the coloring, and so I'm like, okay, these are limited edition too. So when you go to a store, you're probably only gonna find like two of each color. So if you really like e any of these colors, I suggest that you pick up a backup because I don't know how long they'll be there. Um, this one is my absolute favorite. I've been meaning to get um, some more pinky stuff lately because I have a lot of corals and a lot of neutrals, but I don't have a lot of pink. So I wanted to get this, and I absolutely love it. It applies smooth. I'm actually going to do a review after this video on this, or on these, because I absolutely love it. Um, they apply smooth. They stay on forever. And like my Victoria's Secret um, lip glosses that I use, you can feel that you have lip gloss on and you can tell when it wears off. This, you never feel like you even have lip gloss on, and it stays on a lot longer. So it's really long-lasting, long and the quality is amazing. So I really like that. All right, and then I bought this. Now, I will say that I only bought this, and I probably shouldn't have, but I only bought this because of the hype it's been getting from those same gurus. Um, it's the blush... Blushable Cream Stick by NYC, and this is in Peach Petal, I think. 
I lied, Plaza Pink. <laughs> and they love it because you get so much product and it's easy to transport. You can just throw it in your makeup bag or train case or whatever and take it with you. I have not used it yet. I just bought it yesterday. I'm going to try it out probably tomorrow when I do a tutorial see how I like it. When I first saw it on the videos, it looked really peachy to me. And I wasn't sure if I even needed another peach blush because I have a few other ones. And I was trying to get the pink colors.